up guys, Adam Ronan here for a special edition of Zero Issue, which if you are uninitiated to what this is, this is our comic book centric series. So today we're gonna be talking about something cool. So you're getting into comics and you're starting to collect and they're starting to pile up. Or you already have a number of comics in your collection and you want the skinny on best comic storage practices. So stick around and we're gonna go over care and storage from the basics to archival obsessed. So most videos are gonna jump into the bags and boards at this point, but this video is going to be a little bit more comprehensive than that. So let's take a step back and take a look at the whole shebang. And this starts with the comics that you choose. Before you can store comics, you need to, of course, pick them out. This step is super obvious, but many a comic collector has come home with a pile of comics from their hold slots with a fold or some sort of damage or an unnoticed sticker. So do inspect your comics before leaving the comic shop. Shop employees can sometimes forget that they're handling a treasured commodity that someone may have for generations of their entire family. So check for folds, tears, stickers, and check to see if that binding is solid. Solid binding. <laughs> You have two more options to protect your comics here in the shop besides handling them with simple care. You can bag them and board them for now if they have bag brands in the shop that you actually dig, though it is pretty costly this way. Personally, we just have them bag the comics three to five per plastic bag per the shop. Then we bring them straight home. Heat and plastic tend to equal in condensation, so it's best not to leave them in the car for super long. It may seem like a bit much, but taking simple steps like this and then also maybe going straight home is not a difficult measure to take for something you probably have planned to have for decades to come. While all of us here at R24 differ in the way that we take care of our comics, we all agree that we want them to be in great condition. And that's why we suggest you get around to bagging, boarding, and storing your comics ASAP. Don't stack them around and let them sit around in just degrade in the air of your house. Now, because I'm a freak, when I buy my comics, as soon as I get to the car, I put them in a specialized box just to keep them from rolling around and getting extra damage, sticking in the trunk and head on home like a boss. When you get around to it, you're gonna want some specific products. One, acid-free backboards. Polyester or Mylar comic book sleeves. Acid-free tape. And comic boxes, long boxes, etc. You'll notice that when you place your comic on the board, one side is shiny and glossy. That's a good thing. That's a good buffer. Go ahead and put the comic up against that side when it's leaving. For us, we don't like a lot of pressure on our long box, so we leave enough room for some give for them to have extra protection. Another thing that we do is we like to put our comics in the box face to face. The theory is here that your comics will sit better in the box with even distribution as the spines of the comics are actually thicker than the other parts, obviously. It should be noted also that water damage is a real thing, so if you're storing your comics in a basement where that's a possibility, make sure to keep them in a cool dry place and not on the floor. So there it is, there's the skinny. So whether you're just kind of casually collecting and you wanna know, how do I keep these puppies safe? Or if you're really deep into the hobby and you wanna be obsessive about keeping them safe, keeping them dry, keeping them in human conditions, we have that covered here for you. So stick around with us for Zero Issue as we get into some comic-centric episodes with our other co-hosts, uh, Trevor and Boss Melda Gordy. We're gonna get into some really cool stuff. And guys, what are you reading right now? Let us know in the comments. And as always, I am Adam Ronan. Follow me on the Twitters. And let's talk about Batman. <sighs> subscribe. You know you wanna subscribe. Where's the trigger? It's if you if you hit the subscribe button, it'll blow up Gotham. No, don't do that. You don't want to blow up Gotham. If you hit the subscribe button, that's all. Oh, sugar. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I want some sugar. 